Okay, we, uh, today we are going to read Psalm 33, <laughs> verses 13 to 22, the New Revised Standard Version. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory, and by its great might it cannot save. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. Amen. 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 So before we go too much detail, what words stick out? The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all mankind. Amen. 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 The, uh, one of the things I reconcile between the Old Testament and the New is fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Fear. Fear the Lord. That's big in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Other words that stick out. From where he sits enthroned, mm. he watches all mankind. Mm. So from the throne room, on the throne, he all watches man. each and every one of us. All mankind. All mankind. Man and womankind. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all the inhabitants. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think he's trying that he's trying to tell us how great God is, how big he is, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Down. And, and, and Bridget, what words stick out to you as we do that? We'll get more into that, but what words stick out to you? Yeah, I'm just adding to what we just said about God. Mm -hmm. you know, how great he is, how big mm -hmm. and how important and how majesty he is. He mm -hmm. sits on his throne, you know, so mm -hmm. you know. Uh, what sticks out to me, our, our soul waits for the Lord. He mm -hmm. is our help and shield. shield. Yeah. Yeah. Help and shield. Yes. You know, from a military standpoint, the war horse is a vain mm -hmm. hope for victory. Mm. Yep. And yep. by its great might, it cannot save. Cannot save. Mm. It mm. cannot it's a vain hope. Those two words, vain hope, vain hope, and victory. cannot yeah. save. Not save. Mm -hmm. And and in this yes. midst of war, a king is not saved by his great army. Mm -hmm. Right. As we yeah. think of what's going on with Russia and Ukraine, mm -hmm. that everyone will lose, and everyone has yeah. lost. Yeah. Everyone has lost. Everyone has lost already. No matter and what. A happens. warrior is not delivered by his great strength. Mm -hmm. All the combination. It, yeah. it, 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 Yep. The um, takes good. more than that. Mm -hmm. Who'd like to Who'd like to read it second time? I will. Excellent. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. Mm. The war horse is a vain hope for victory, and by its great might, it cannot save. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Mm -hmm. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, so what, is it, what is it saying now? We, looked, we examined some of the words that stuck out to us, but now what is it saying? It's, it's saying to me that um, God sees everything. Mm. And um, we have so many people out here that um, get stuck on uh, 
our colors, our skin colors, our uh, where we're from and, and all of this. But this tells me that God sees everyone mm -hmm. and that he watches everyone. And um, we, we have all this war going on and this one is against this one and that one is against that one. And, and, it's not, and he tells us it's not going to save us. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's going to save us is him. And that he's with us and that he, he'll take care of us, even in these hard times. Um, we just have to wait on him. We just have to wait on him. We just have to wait on it and continue to trust in him. And I and it tells me also that we should be calling on his name. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and also this this path delineates um that you know, all these other things. It says, you know, a king is not saved by his great army. So it talked about the, the essence of a king. The king won't save you. The warrior is, it, is, is not delivered by his strength. The horse and all the rest of it. So it's him. It's, it's, it's God. So don't put your, don't, don't put your hope in uh, things that are not him. All right. So you may have, um, you know, think you have great strength, but the, the essence of how you're going to be saved is through him. It's not through um, the great army that the king, that, that a king may have, as, as we see in, in the world. You, you, can't, you can't put your, your hope and your faith and victory in all these other things, whether it be riches or, or jobs or, or uh, things that you worship, it is, the, it is the Lord that's going to bring you, you peace and it is the Lord who looks over all of us. Right. Amen. 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 I, 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 I'm yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Master, we cannot depend on our own strength. Mm -hmm. Depend on God's strength. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the, word, and the word says in 18, truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Mm -hmm. So like Donna and uh, Vedita said, you know, God is on each and every one of us that fear him. And like you said, pastor, fear, fear is used a lot in the Old Testament. And it says those who hope in hope. his steadfast love. Mm -hmm. So we got to fear him, maintain hope, because we are looking for the deliverance of our soul from death mm -hmm. and to be kept alive during famine. You know, fam we're, you're alive while famine is going on. You, you're hungry. And it's not necessarily food. Because then the next verse says, our soul, mm. our, our physical body, our mind, things that we, we humans think we control, we don't. Mm -hmm. Our soul yeah. is patiently waiting. It waits for the Lord because our soul, which is that inner man, that, mm -hmm. that, that the one that the Holy Spirit communes with, our soul mm -hmm. knows he's our help and shield. That's mm -hmm. why when we get downtrodden, that's why when we, we feel, yeah, and, and it's not always anything negative. Sometimes we're just tired. Yeah. You know, I can imagine Jesus walking all over God's green earth. Sometimes he was just tired. Right. You know? Right. And, and we have every modern convenience, air conditioning, car, um, TV, phone, everything. But you know what? Sometimes we just get tired. Right. Amen. Yeah. And, Amen. And, and that's when our soul waits for the Lord. Yes. The body, you know, then the soul and the Holy Spirit and everything takes over. Mm -hmm. we, get, we get rejuvenated. Or as my good friend says, we get our fill up. Yeah. And then yeah. we get to go on. Yeah. Ain't that yeah. right, Ms. B? That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Good morning. I saw the zero in on that same verse, um, Stefan. It says, um, truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love. To me, when, you use, when the word fear is used there, it's not the fear, to me, it's not the fear of the Lord himself, like I'm afraid of him. Right. I, it's the fear that he might be right. <laughs> you know, it's the fear, it's the fear that 
<laughs> that, you know, oh, I'm doing this, but oh my God, I remember what they said about this and God said this. It's that fear that we put in ourselves for doing the wrong thing. That, <laughs> and that, that's the fear we got, you know? So this whole thing is like, it's not about you. That's what it is to me. Yeah. Amen, amen. And, and, and as you read the Old Testament, you, you start to realize that back in those days, fear really means praise, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we see fear is like, oh, I'm scared, I'm hiding in the closet. Yeah. And it's really fear is the praise. And so that's, and some people misinterpret that. And a lot of people take it to mean that, you know, that, you know, God is coming down hard on sinners and going to do this. Uh -huh. But you fear God by praising God. And so that's, yeah. that's, that's good analysis. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, I, good morning, everyone. I just right. wanted to add good quickly. Morning. When good morning. we think about fear, as everybody says, we forget fear means that, you know, drawing closer to God. You mm -hmm. want to keep his commandments. You want to take refuge in him. You want to draw closer. It's not a negative right. act. Right. It's positive. You know, we as Christians, right. we are in awe of God. We want to draw closer to him. Mm -hmm. And by drawing closer, we remember we have to keep the commandments and just be in awe of God. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Would, would I somebody think like to also, read it I, one I final time? One more thing. Go ahead, Donna. Yeah. I think uh -huh. Also, um, it says he who fashions the heart of them all and observes all their deeds. Um, like 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 you said, um, he's he's searching our hearts, and um, we're supposed to be out there as Christians. Um not at war, but we're supposed to be out there spreading his love and spreading his message. So I think he's looking at all of us, you know, and our responsibility that we have as Christians uh, to be out there and, and sharing in his love and mm -hmm. doing the things that he would do, um, such as feeding each other, um, taking care of one another. So I think that's a, that, that's a responsibility that we have instead of, um, looking to someone else to do these things right. a lot of times we look to our government to to right. do these things when we're empowered ourselves to to go out and and do these things we're empowered to love one another we're empowered right. to love our neighbors and right. um and I, I think that's what he's looking at and he's looking at us and he's and he's looking at us to do these things mm -hmm. amen. Yeah. amen 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 would somebody and, like to read it one final time and then we'll... I say, Pastor, verse 20, I think verse 20, what I get from there is that he will always be our help and a, sh and a shield. So we should seek him. Excellent. The, you you want to read it, Bridget? Oh, I have the smallest All right, letter. Well, well, somebody else wants to read the final time. I read it. He sees all man, human kind. From where he sits in throne, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the heart of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for glory and by his great might, it cannot save. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who, keep, who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O oh Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Amen. 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 So, so going forward, what do, we, uh, what do we take from this? Verse 21. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Our heart right. is glad in him because we trust yes. in his holy name. Our physical Amen. continents can be heavy. We can look sad. We can even have the weight of the world, yes. good or bad, good or Ooh. bad, on our shoulders. But our heart, which is that which is connected to our soul, mm. that intangible object, yeah. is glad mm -hmm. in him. Yes. Not in not in the the paycheck we got, and and not in covenant. Covenant is a beautiful. It's a church. It's a building. But our heart is glad in Him, him. because yeah. we trust in His holy name. 
Yes. No other name. No, no other, other name. name. Right. Man. Right. No other name. Right. Absolutely. I, Absolutely. I agree. That 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 sums it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's pretty that's, much. That's, pretty thank much. You, thank you, counselor. That, <laughs> that sums it up. Yeah, you, know, you dropped when the mic. I, is going crazy. I rest now. <laughs> so, 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 so one of the other things too, as we just going back to the war, as we are in the midst of this war, mm. you know, you go back to this. The message is a king is not saved by his great army, mm. but you also talk about you talk about um, 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 starvation. You talk about um, you know the 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 to deliver their soul from death to keep them alive in famine. And you think about the Ukraine. You think about all the people that are starving. You think about this senseless war, this, this, what we're dealing with in this world. This is so very appropriate for today on how mm -hmm. futile war is and how insignificant it is and, and how much of a waste of life and time. <clears throat> and it goes back to 21. That's where our focus should be. Yeah. Yes. It's mm -hmm. like you cannot, you just cannot ignore, <clears throat> you cannot ignore the power of God over our lives. And right. we need to acknowledge that in everything because there's good times and there's bad times, but we need to learn, as in 20 says, our souls wait. We wait yeah. for God to intervene on our behalf. And God is, is love. He's love. Right. So um, if we hold out, if we keep our hearts where they're supposed to be and keep it off of man and what man might do for us, and what we might do for ourselves, knowing that all things are possible with God on your side. So our souls have to wait and we have to trust. And, and I think as a people, when we talk about war, the, the, the war of racism, the war of sexism, right, the right, war right. of yes. just um, classism, these wars exist every day. When we go right. in places whether it be places of employment, places of social um, settings, the war is real. And if you don't have the constitution to wait on the Lord and know that he is going to bring us out of this war, when you think about justice and, and the lack thereof in this world, all around this world, and in particular, as it relates to the, the, the African-Americans uh, as we struggle, in this country, we, by our existence, the faith that we have has enabled us to survive because we're waiting and we know, we know that, that justice delayed is not justice denied. And we right. do see it launched down, but putting our faith and our hope in Jesus Christ is what has brought us to this very moment. Whether right. it, it, you know, the, the, the war of, you know, challenging health, right? Mm -hmm. All of this, mm -hmm. we, 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 we face, but we do not face it alone. Right. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're waiting on him. We put our hope in the Lord and that is what sustains us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, verse 30 says it all. He, he, he sees all mankind. You know, the Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all mankind. He sees everything that's going on. He sees it and he knows it when we even coming. He knows already we'll be coming. So yeah. in down on us from heaven. He sees everything. He's all knowing, all, all seeing, knowing. all hearing. You know, that's what he is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any final words before we yes. take some private prayers? Yep. If you take the last three scriptures, 20, 21, and 22. Mm -hmm. And you think back to, I believe it's First Corinthians, where we wrestle not against flesh and blood, which mm -hmm. is what um, Benita said. Our, our battles are um, sometimes um, philosophical battles, um, our, our physical battles with the human body, like you said, but we wrestle not. But we have the hope and our soul waits oh. and he's our help, our shield. And yes. we trust in his holy name and we're gonna <laughs> let God's steadfast love be upon us, yeah. even as we hope. So, right. you know, it's, and, and it's, but Pastor, you've been preaching about love every Sunday, just about. And, yeah. and, it's, and the only way, love conquers all. Oh, amen, amen. amen. Yes, amen. amen. 
Amen. Amen. Very well. Very well Amen. said. Any and it's telling any us to up? trust him. It's telling mm -hmm. us to trust him. Trust him. Yes. Um, not run out to the store when it's a storm and buying all these things. It's say trust him. He right, said he would take right. care of us. So I think it's the ultimate thing is we have to trust him and wait on him and show forth his love. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I just wanted to add quickly, Pastor, the, the verse 18, where it emphasizes about the steadfast love of God. Right. It brings me back to Lamentations, where it says, the steadfast love of God never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Mm -hmm. And they are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just, Amen. Yeah, that verse, you know, just gives me hope every day. I, I read that yes. verse daily. Amen. And, you know, it just gives me hope, knowing that, Within all the turmoil, everything that happened, good, bad, everything that happens, God's steadfast love is permanent and unconditional. Unconditional. Amen. 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 The, uh, well, well, said. Amen. well said. Amen. So I'm going to stop the recording now.